So what is an atom and what makes up an atom? Well, the idea goes back to the time of the Greeks two and a half thousand years ago. Democritus, a Greek philosopher, he said, if you take an ap apple and you cut it in two and then again in two and keep cutting it and cutting it, ultimately you will get to the smallest piece of the apple. And that's what he called an atom. Well, today we know that an atom is further divisible. If you look at the atom now with our modern ele electron microscopes and our accelerators, you find that it has a small nucleus. Around that nucleus, there are electrons buzzing around it. And the nucleus, which at one time was thought to be, an, uh, thought to be ind indivisible, it turns out itself to be made up of other particles, neutrons and protons. Well, if you look at the neutrons and protons, it turns out that they are not indivisible, that they are made up of still finer particles called quarks. And so in the last two and a half thousand years or so, we have gained an enormous understanding of the structure of matter. The atom now is very well understood. We are able to predict all its properties to an accuracy of one part in a billion or better if we want to. So physics has moved on from the, from the study of the atom to the study of the nucleus to the study of the neutron and proton and then now much beyond that.